Hello and welcome to episode 57 of Echoes, Echoes, Echoes of Mana, Mana, Mana. Yes, this is a surprise daytime stream. Probably no different for you guys watching the VOD, but yeah. If you're watching the stream, I'm about six hours early, more or less. <laughs> and JP in the chat commenting that I'm starting early. Yes, I am. I had the day off today and, you know, I was planning on starting streaming already, like... Two hours ago, but eh. <laughs> Shit happens. Anyway, uh, there is a reason that I'm streaming today, and well, there's two reasons I'm streaming early. I've got stuff to do tonight. I'll be back tonight and probably streaming because I won't finish everything. But I've got practice uh, this evening, and then I've got a event that I'm going to be helping with uh, tomorrow. So that's going to take up most of my day. And yeah, anyway, let's just start off grabbing our dailies. Did a little grinding here. However, there is now a daily reward. Anyway, the 100, the 150, there we go. So yes, there's a uh, reward for clearing Flora and Fugue three times. And a reward for clearing Bone and Brimstone. And that popped up yesterday, but by the time I realized it, it was quite late and I realized, you know what, no, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, uh, we've got training dungeons we can grab. So there's that. Grinding out the uh, Gauntlet of Echoes is not interesting me in the slightest, so I don't think I'm going to be messing with that at all. Uh, ooh, uh, character bonds. Let's see what we got. Nicolo. Very good. No, I hit the wrong button. That takes me back to the home screen. Gah, we get to suffer through more, uh, through more loading screens this way. Alright, whatever. Let's go to login gifts. Legend of Mana anime celebration. Spirit crystal fillers. Nothing too special. Let's grab them and move on. Quests. So we've got uh, two sets of quests today. We've got under training, Crescent Altar Vigil, which finally gives us moon stuff, which is not the primary need right now. We're going with Siren Arc 2, Bone and Brimstone. So let's hop to it. Anyway, my plan is only to go about 40 minutes, 40 to 60 minutes. That's kind of my, uh, my ideal shot. Just trying to get this stuff out while I can. Anyway, Storyteller's Interlude. Oh, and this is supposed to be... We're holding a special Siren Arc 2 Bone and Brimstone event featuring a never-before-seen scenario from a previous title. This special event guides you the chance to experience the unreleased Siren Arc scenario from Legend of Mana. Yes, yeah, split into two parts. Blah, blah, blah. Event points. Nightmare Mo. Co-ops. Uh, yeah, bingo missions. They go all the way until 1031. Event point traders, as always. Event point quests. Nightmares. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, 700. They don't actually drop all that much more. That's a surprise. Anyway, that's all useful stuff. Very useful stuff we'll be grabbing. Anyway, we can close that and get going to Storyteller's Interlude. Of course, this being Echoes of Mana, what we actually get is a loading screen. Konnichiwa. Ah. Konnichiwa, watashi wa Pokiel. Good day, I am Pokiel, the storyteller. Have you come to hear the rest of my tale? Huh. Allow me to refresh your memory, in case the details elude you. <laughs> when last we left off, the Siren L and the Mermaid Flameshi. Flameshi? Flameshi. Flameshi? Ooh, maybe it's Flameshi. Flameshi. 
had found themselves in a precarious predicament. For Elle had stopped singing entirely, causing her siren wings to wither away with each passing hour. Seeing her friend's wings in such a state, Flame she searched high and low for a flower or song that might restore them. She traveled to the Feeg snowfields and retrieved the short-lived icicle flower. She boarded a pirate ship and rescued a poet of love, skilled in both verse and song. And yet, despite all her efforts, neither flower nor song were enough to stave off the encroaching decay of her songless friend's wings. Not to be Done yet? Okay. Not to be deterred, the mermaid appears to be once again buying flowers in the harbor town, and thus our story resumes. Yay, we got that cleared, but we're back to even more story. Do, 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 do. Bone and Brimstone. Still better than... Brother, I say, this is better than a preacher's fire and brimstone summon. It is Bone and Brimstone. Bone and brimstone, I say, brother JP. Bone and brimstone. <laughs> hey, mermaid. Oh. Uh, okay. That deserves a funny voice. Uh, hey, mermaid. Uh, you see any ghosts around these parts? <sighs> oh, this again. It's been the talk of the town lately. A specter shambling around, muttering to itself. Even the flowerling just now wouldn't shut up about it. Said a ghost visited me the other day, but didn't buy a thing. Uh, anyway, who are you? Oh, you must have never died before, if you don't know who we are. I mean, isn't that the norm? <laughs> we are Shadles. Happy helpers of the underworld! Meaning it's our job to round up any stray ghosts and drag them back. So. Sounds like a you problem. Good luck with that. Hey, uh, if you see any ghosts, bring them to us. The dead have a soft spot for funeral flowers, you know. As if. Besides, these are for my friend, not the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Suit yourself. A, a ghost? Uh. Yeah, it's all anyone's talking about in town. Don't they know they don't exist? Oh, that poor ghost. I can't imagine wandering aimlessly after death. Not at peace. Perhaps it'd be comforted by these flowers you gave me. Mm. You're right. Instead of hauling tail every day to get you flowers, I'd be much better off giving them to some miserable ghost. What? A flame sheet? You know that's not what I... Forget it. If you don't want them, give them back. I don't care anymore. Ooh. Ooh. Friendship, uh, in trouble. Okay. Flame she- I'm sorry. You worked so hard to help me. And I took it all for granted. I'm nothing like the sirens you look up to, and I'm even less of a good friend.
Okay, you found part two more interesting. Well, let's see how it goes. Oh, jeez, come on. Three back-to-back -back stories. They really just want me to destroy my voice. Ugh, I can't believe her. She doesn't get me at all. She's always been this way. So fragile and stubborn to a fault. Always putting others first. Not caring one bit about herself. Uh, but that's just who she is. Question mark. Mm -hmm. Who's that over there? The scent of flowers. So close. Let's open up the uh, manage request screen as you have so demanded, JP. You request hydrate. I hydrate. There we go. Hydration complete. Whoa. Uh, shambling around, muttering. Could that be the rumored ghost? Good. I didn't skip anything. So, it's looking for flowers, huh? Hey, you. If you want flowers so badly, you can have them. You can wander for eternity for all I care. But my friend wanted you to have these. Uh... Huh? What? If you're going to thank me, thank El instead. And if you're looking for the underworld, the Shadles... At last... I have found it! Well, wow. You must have really wanted some flowers. Good, good for you. I have no need for flowers. Hey, careful with those! Ow! What are you doing? Come now, cross over to our domain. If you weren't after flowers. Does that mean you're after me? Yes, little mermaid. At last I have found you. Your majesty, O oh Deathbringer. Behold, I have fulfilled the Imperial Order and secured the mermaid. What are you, what are you, have you lost your gills? There's no way I'm handing over these flowers. Or myself, for that matter. <laughs> I'm, uh, doing a little bit of guru. Uh, in that voice. <laughs> oh. Okay, great skeletal escape. Wind, a fire, dark. Well, do we have any need for anything else? Is everybody leveled up? Okay, just Reese back there. That's right. We've got everybody leveled up except Reese. She needs to get all the way up to 94. It'll take a while for her. Everyone else is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> uh, and of course, with ourselves being so over-leveled, We're perfectly safe, uh, uh, doing this on auto. Although it'd be nice if this freaking loading screen would finish up. Uh, anyway, JP, how you doing today? Come on, game. Load. Load, I said. Load. There it goes. Perfect, staying on full auto and let's go. Yeah, I've uh 
Uh, I know I've mentioned this a few times before, but I'm in a uh, folk dance group, and we'll be uh, doing our uh, folk dance. Uh, we've got to practice uh, tonight. And then a part of that event tomorrow, uh, we'll be dancing. So, that'll be fun. Who knows how tomorrow's gonna turn out. Might be great, might be crazy, might be insane. Who knows? It's a crazy little idea that, uh, one of our community members dreamt up. And basically everyone's kind of working together to make it work. We'll see how it goes. Gold got you. A tailing trooper. Just wind and fire this time. Wind, fire, we'll burn through them all regardless. <laughs> but this is a very nice beach setting. I like the map. It's quite fun. Ooh, we're in a cave. There we go. Cave's taken care of. I guess while I'm here, let's hop on to the Discord, see if anybody's talking about anything here. Oh, someone's doing some analytics. Uh, Echo Zamana finally got a, uh, a little boost up. It's been, uh, shedding users, uh quite reliably for the past 16 weeks and just had a bounce up. Actually, going back between 8 and 12 weeks ago. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, a tenacious tailing trooper. Wow. Great skeletal escape, a tailing trooper, a tenacious tailing trooper. How fitting. I'm gonna assume the uh, tenacious guy is gonna keep following us. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay, we got a joke here. She's called uh, Flameshi because she has she has a successful UV mapping career as a texture artist by painting over the mesh of a 3D model in game development. That's why she's Flameshi. Checkmate, Square Enix. <laughs> uh. And, of course, the response was, her name is pronounced Flamesh. Okay. So, she, so probably Flamesh. There we go. Flamesh. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Anything hunting for mermaids would surely jump at the chance to catch a siren, right? If I just lead him a little further, then... Uh, Flamesh, is that you? I want to apologize. Uh-oh. You, ghost. I give up. You can take me. All right? You have that Imperial Order thingy, right? Come on. What are you waiting for? Your Majesty the Deathbringer! I shall hasten to your side! How did Elle even know she was here? Flamesh, huh? I swear I heard her just now. Exclamation mark. The flowers she was carrying. And what is that smell? Something dark and ominous that reeks of terror. Something must have happened to her. No, she sacrificed herself to save you. <laughs> Don't worry, Flamesh. I'm coming for you. Red Kid said, We got burb instead, but I wanted fishy. <laughs> Alright, bewitching bargain. Let's see how this goes. So we'll probably be with uh with Flamesh inside of the uh Oh, here we go. A remedy. Strong enough to kill him. This next experiment will surely succeed. So, we meet again, Siren. What brings you here? Do you long to sing again? Or perhaps you have come to collect on that lovely voice of yours. Wait, 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 witch? I guess that's a witch. Oh shit, I've been given... I've been giving her the wrong voice. I thought that was a dude with uh, just long golden locks. My bad. How do I want to do this voice instead then? A remedy strong enough to kill. A remedy strong enough to kill even him. This next experiment will surely succeed. So, we meet again, Siren. What brings you here? Do you long to sing again? Or perhaps you have come to collect on that lovely voice of yours? Witch of Reincarnation, I come seeking answers. The sinister scent that clings to this flower. Where does it come from? scent is that of a soldier of the Deathbringer. Why do you seek him out? He captured my mermaid friend. A mermaid? How intriguing. So he couldn't wait on the remedy and instead set his sights on a mermaid's flame. Why do mermaids have flames? Why do mermaids have flames? Uh... What do you mean? When a mermaid is deprived of water far enough from the sea, she will burst into flame and assume the form of an anima sola. Such flame is capable of destroying everything it touches, even its bearer's soul and memories. With it, the undying emperor could finally achieve the eternal rest he so desperately seeks. No! Flamesh! Please, tell me where I can find him. I won't let that happen to her. 
Very well. On one condition. Though I care not whether he succeeds. Allow me to accompany you. I must see his long sought after desire through to its conclusion. If that's truly all you wish. But I can't carry you there. Not with these withered wings of mine. That door. It is a portal to the Deathbringer's palace. Should you be able to trick it, it shall lead you straight to him. Huh? It trick it? How? With your song. Your voice has the power to sink Imperial warships, does it not? Um... Yes, that is correct. Oh, whoops. Yes, that is correct, child. I shall return your voice to you. What say you? Does your own singing still frighten you? Mm. It's true. When my song sunk the vessel into the ocean, I was afraid. I no longer had use for such a frightening thing. So I sold it to you, but I did not accept what you tendered in return. With the human arms you offered, I could have lived without the need to sing and without worrying Flamesh. But I... I couldn't give them up. Not the wings Flamesh so cherished and lavished such praise upon. But she was right. I've been a wishy-washy... No A. I've been wishy-washy lately. Not to mention selfish. Dot dot dot. So... So I'll sing. I am a siren after all. Japan in the 90s really had strange character designs. Yes, they did. <laughs> it's like she always said. Sirens were born to sing, so sing I shall and save my friend while I'm at it. Good. Her voice has returned. Just a little longer, Flamesh. I'm almost there. They just have this one track. Ooh. That is beautiful. I really do love that kind of singing. Just those kind of uh, angelic vocals would probably be the best way I could describe it. Okay. Deceptive door. Let's see how well it deceives us. Or how well we can deceive it. What I need is a K. Okay. Go ahead and fight. Inside of wherever this is. You deceive it by punching it a lot. Hey! That's the way you uh, generally do deception inside of JRPGs, so I believe you. <laughs> You know, it's like how Nanaka makes friends by shooting them with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, massive, uh, well, they're not laser beams, but massive particle beams. Or magic beams, whatever you want to call it. In this game, we trick doors by punching them. That makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gotcha Logic says good banners are followed by better banners with worse rates. So I'm ready to regret my banner. <laughs> Nevadons. Oh. 
Ooh, we're already inside the Imperial Palace corridor. That's interesting. That's interesting. rooms are definitely changing we're getting further and further along although we do have these spikes in the background and on the discord i see someone mentioned spikes so sounds like we're gonna have some aoe spikes All right, and continue on. Yeah, we're not exactly getting any uh, big rewards here, so <laughs> no point ever replaying these intro stages. Of course, that's not a surprise. Let's go ahead and hit OK. All right, we should be exactly halfway. Yes, we are. 15 out of 30. Uh, we can go forward a little more. How long until we fully recover? Six. Okay, cool. That'll be after midnight, so in time for me to come back. Let's do Brimstone. Dee -doo -dee 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 -doo -dee 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 do <laughs> Your Majesty, that which you sought now swims in the tank before you. Okay, I need a little bit of water before doing this voice. Well done, Thona! To heed my orders, even in death, you are the very image of a warrior! So, this is a mermaid! The one that can fulfill my desire! Hi, hi. I think I thank you for so graciously providing me with a tank. Now, what do you plan to do with me? And don't tell me you believe nonsense like the flesh of a mermaid will grant immortality. FOOL! I would never wish for such a fate again! Behold! The monstrosity before you! My reanimated corpse! For I am already deathless! In my current form, I cannot die! All I seek now is eternal slumber! Ugh, talk about depressing. Remind me what this dream of yours has to do with me. I'm nothing special, you know. Nothing like a siren. And all the better for it! For inside you, mermaid! Dwells a flame, a flame to burn even purgatory itself. <coughs> now, mermaid, princess from waters deep, summon forth that flame. Send me into that eternal night. Flamesh. L, what are you doing here? Flamesh, are you alright? Hang in there. I'm fine, but being outside the tank, uh, my tail started to dry out. 
Huh? W what's happening? My body, it's, it's he heating up. A mermaid deprived of water. So it's already begun. Of all the trespassers that could have entered my palace! Thessinus, is that you? Long have you toiled, but no more. Witness my undoing! Uh, uh, it burns my tail, my heart. Anima Sola, come forth, I beseech you. Burn brightly this hideous, twisted form. Stay back. Touch her and your very bones will be turned to ash. But she's in pain. I can't just sit back and watch her suffer. <laughs> yeah, that one was terrible. <laughs> Indeed. Those crimson flames burn even their possessor. Yet, the Deathbringer. Dot, dot, dot! Impossible! It can't be! This flesh of mine refuses to yield! Even in the inferno of an anima sola! What futile fire, worthless creature! Your usefulness has come to an end! Prepare to die! No! How unsightly! Get out of my way! Unless you wish to perish first! Though death may bring, may be forever out of my grasp, I have no qualms with doling it out! Okay, I'm having way too much fun shouting like that. Definitely hurt my throat, but man, is it fun! Ah. Oh, hey, we're already at the boss battle. I did not expect that at all. Well, let's hop to it. Hop, hop, hop. Fifty-five hundred. I'll turn auto off here. Take a <laughs> Okay, that definitely did not require uh, 5,500 power. That was way less. Yay, Alfo's defeated. 
Do 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 do. <laughs> Yay, gained some stuff. Let's keep it coming. Yeah, this is a uh, surprisingly short chapter. Assuming that's the end, which it may not be. I mean, obviously it can't be since, what, that was 18? Yeah, we'll probably have a... Six of them will be taken up. Or, excuse me, not six. Three of them, so that comes out to nine. I think that means we'll have just one more fighting stage. And then that. But, I will leave the rest for tonight's stream. Instead... Let's go to training... Hop over to Crescent Altar Vigil. And let's burn off some of our uh, SP here, because we got too much of it. Take a little break from the event. And just go through with these uh, easy stages to quickly rack up some... Uh, to burn that SP. Also, I, I can tell that my voice is <laughs> kind of pushing it. Leave it on full auto and let's go. Yeah, this was... I gotta admit, that was a fun chapter. No complaints at all there. Cool, that went through. But yeah, uh, it's only uh, six SP each, so it's uh, uh, gonna take a while. Come on. The loading screens are just the worst. But good, we're getting our... Uh, we're seven here. Okay, this one's gonna do seven. That's better. Let's go. So I've, I've got this crazy idea for some Star Wars videos that I'm planning on doing. Uh, I'm talking to an animator right now about getting a, uh, silly, uh, silly introduction done for them. So, we'll see how that works. Star Wars, eh? That's a landmine if I ever heard one. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, I can give you a premise. I can tell you kind of the premise of the idea. So, uh... Basically, uh... You're familiar with Doctor Who, right? Specifically the TARDIS. Okay, cool. So, uh, instead of a TARDIS, I have a TURDIS, which is literally just a uh, jet-powered porta potty that has a time machine inside of it. So, yeah, basically what I plan on doing is uh, taking that and traveling back to uh, 1979, I, or, yeah, 79, when it came out. 
Or perhaps the uh, the novels even came out in uh, 78, I think. So I'll be jumping back there. But actually, I'll be jumping back even further to the 70s. Turtis sounds very American. Yes, it is. That is exactly what I'm shooting for. Uh, but have you actually seen the picture of the uh, jet-powered porta potty It's a real thing. You sit on it. You can't actually use it. Because the jet engine is exactly where you would expect the, uh, uh, where all the, uh, bathroom mechanism is. But literally, you're just sitting on top of a jet engine, and the housing is a porta potty And you just rev, rev those engines, and you go flying. <laughs> you don't actually fly. It's a ground vehicle. But the Turtis is gonna be a, uh, flying vehicle. <laughs> it can travel through time and space. Yeah, anyway, I plan on uh, kind of going back, uh, checking out, uh, reading the stuff about the... Uh, oh, shoot, what was what was it called? The Record of the Wills, I think? Uh, Star Wars... Wills, yes. Uh, community of beings who notably wrote the Journal of the Wills. There we go, that's what it's called. Flying vertically in a porta potty sounds scary since there's no stabilizers. Yeah. <laughs> nope, it's not a vertical. It's not a rocket. It is a ground vehicle. Actually, here, let me just uh, grab it. Jet powered porta potty. Hey, you even just start typing. Uh, Jet powered P, and it immediately gets you the right thing. Alright, and let's drop that into Twitch. There you go, there's the link. But yeah, it's a ground vehicle. You fire it up, and it goes, uh, it goes whoosh. Oh, and of course it's from Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> of course Florida man came up with that. Yeah. Jet-powered porta potty No crap. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the door has a little cutout so you can uh, look out through it. And, of course, it has air intake so that it can feed the uh, jet engine. Oh, uh, such a silly thing. All he needs now is a gator to come up from the seat to scare him to make it complete. <laughs> oh, uh, have I told you how they decide who the king of Florida is? Uh, do -do 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 -do. Oh, do -do. nope. Okay, this is uh, how someone determines the uh, king of Florida. There is a oh. Uh, hopefully that link will work. Let me check. Yes, it does. So, there is an alligator with a knife in its head, and the King of Florida is the man that successfully pulls it out. So, it's kind of like uh, King Arthur with the sword in the stone, except it's a knife inside of a gator's head. <laughs> Whosoever pulls the, uh... Pulls the knife from the gator's head shall be king of all of Florida. Failure is the gator bites off your arm. Exactly! <laughs> That's where the risk comes from. And perhaps uh, the king of Florida might even reunite uh, and create Long Florida. Which I'm sure you're familiar with. Long Florida has the uh, panhandle extend all the way out to the end of the Yucatan Peninsula. Long Florida images. Yep. 
There it is, view file. So you visit the 70s in a turtis. Yup. And let's see, uh... Okay, let me get back to here. So the plan is first start off by, uh... Uh... Reading about the Journal of the Wills. And then going back and reading the, uh... Initial drafts that are published for... That George Lucas published. For what Star Wars was supposed to be. So, you know, all the stuff with Luke Starkiller and things like that. Uh, kind of all the previous things. And that's kind of going to be the introduction. Get my feet wet. Get used to it. Then, once I'm comfortable with the whole thing... The idea is to take uh, all the stuff from Legends Continuity. So, start off with the uh, book the original Marvel Comics run, and then eventually A New Hope, and pretend that I'm going back into the 1970s to catch that release date, uh, pretending it's the first time that I've read it, which, for the Marvel Comics, it's actually going to be the first time that I read it. I did read the novelization before, so that's cool. And yeah, the idea is basically not so much just to sit down and read it, although that is something I did with uh, Heart of the Jedi, uh, the goal is basically start reading it and just keep pulling up, you know, Wikipedia articles and kind of recreating the, uh, Star Wars Expanded Universe canon. Okay, where are we at? Oh, already at six. Very hard to... Cool. Let's go. And yeah, uh, that's kind of the plan. It's basically just gonna be me reading... Uh, comics or books and essentially every time there's a noun and the first time we get it you mean the legacy canon that is no longer canon or the new canon the legacy canon that's no longer canon but is actually the real canon because fuck disney star wars <laughs> disney star wars is not star wars to uh slightly uh misquote gandalf disney your cannon is broken! <laughs> As opposed to your staff is broken. Which is actually something I'm planning on including in the intro, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go well. What I'm actually trying to... Well, I won't say I'm trying. Trying implies that I actually started looking for it. Sounds like a lot of work. Yes, yes it does. Sounds like a hugely crazy idea, but it does mean that I'll be able to collect all the uh, Star Wars Expanded Universe novels, which hilariously enough, I just saw a video of somebody on Rumble who was saying, hey, I just finished, finished it. I've got the entire collection. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, well... When I was a kid, I used to go to the library to read Star Wars novels. Oh, yeah. I've got a decently big... Oh, I won't say decently big. It's not all that big. But I've got uh, quite a bit of them. I've got the entire... Uh, uh, the entire X-Wing series. I've got uh, the Jedi Academy trilogy. Uh, Zahn's five books. The Crystal Star, which is... <laughs> Uh, supposedly one of the worst ones. Truce at Bakura. And many, many more. I think I've got two out of the three of the uh, Han Solo trilogy. Okay, and here we are at the uh, last one. Without any comment. <laughs> I was just thinking of Crystal Star. It was one of the first ones I read. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It was close to one of the first ones I read as well, so, you know, I didn't really have, uh... Didn't have enough context to see, uh, how bad it was compared to the others. But I really, uh, don't like the, uh... Uh, the Jedi Academy trilogy. Didn't really strike my fancy. I, I much preferred I, Jedi. Although I did read I, Jedi before I read the Jedi Academy trilogy, so I was so confused. <laughs> It's like, everything that was the uh, original stuff that uh, 
Michael Stackpole added in I Jedi. All that stuff and it's like, oh yeah, that's great, that's amazing. I am. I quite liked him. And I really do like what uh uh there was one interview he was talking about what he did. Uh Star basically uh Hold on, what who would it have been? It would have been Lucasfilm, I guess? Lucasfilm reached out to his publisher saying, hey, we need a bunch of people to uh, to write some books. His publisher reached out to Michael Stackpole and said, hey, we, we need some Star Wars books. And then he reached out to the people that uh, ran the, uh, what was it, West End Games? Yes. Nice. I think my first Star Wars game was uh, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter on my cousin's computer. Oh, man. It was funny when they referenced missions from the game. Yep, yep. I mean, they he used the... Uh, he used a ton of game mechanics from there. So I'm like, reading this, I'm just like... He's talking about linking shields. He's talking about switching power from uh, shields to lasers to engines. Just like this, that, and the other. I'm like, this is so cool! <laughs> oh yeah it was really nice i i love those although i have to admit i do have a sweet spot for uh aaron alston he just nailed the comedy it's like we'll make it we'll have fun we'll treat the serious parts seriously and we'll treat the joke parts as a joke I mean, it's still technically all there with the modern canon with the new Rogue Squadron. I, yeah, except uh, it's been indefinitely delayed because uh, Patty Jenkins isn't uh, isn't there right now. Anyway, let's hop over to missions, see what we got. Nope, didn't get enough uh, co-ops yet. That's fine. Okay. Oh, I just need one more co-op. I didn't expect that. Training dungeons. I was at tw at exactly 20. Oh, uh, we'll need to clear 73 more of those. Clear all weekly missions. Clear all weekly missions. Very good. Cool. Let's go to the bingo board. Sorry, I meant Rogue Squadron game from EA. Ah, 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 ah. ah. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't played that one yet. I played the shit out of uh, uh, Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader on uh, on GameCube uh, to a slightly less result. It says weekly, but has a 27-day limit. Yep! <laughs> cool, we got that stuff. You know what? I, we're already at an hour. I thought I'd be uh, Rogue. The new Rogue Squadron game story is meh. Of course. I mean, it's Disney Star Wars, so uh, what more do you expect? Best way is to expect crap and not be disappointed. Because either you'll be... Uh, you'll either be vindicated or pleasantly surprised. Alright. The Songbird and the Maiden. Not just Disney Star Wars, Disney EA Star Wars. Ooh! <laughs> yeah! Alright, well. That was a nice little break. Ah! The scorching heat racks my body with pain! Oh, you're... Ditching out on all the uh, fun vocals. Yet, I. I. So, even the unquenchable fire of an anima sola cannot kill it. Cannot kill you. My poor husband, what cruelty is this? Even I like the means to grant you eternal peace. Whoa! Plot twist, they're married. Flamesh. Well, I guess now she's no longer Flamesh. Now she's Flame She. Please, witch, restore my friend. 
I'm afraid that is beyond me. Is there really nothing you can do? I can't bear to watch this any longer. The only thing that can quench those flames is for the one she holds dearest to burn in them. The one she holds dearest... Dot dot dot. That can't be me. All I do is cause her trouble and grief. I... I can't stand to see you like this, but... Once again, I'm powerless to help. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Flamash. Dot dot dot. But even still... I can't just watch you suffer. If you'll burn under the heat of your own flame, then I wish to burn at your side. You did all that you could to help me. So, as your friend, I will not let you suffer alone. Uh, L? Ah. Flamesh! Thank the high winds. It... It worked. But L, your wings, because of me, they're ruined. I tried so hard to cure them, but I couldn't do anything in the end. <laughs> How funny. I just said the same thing. Why are you laughing right now? You're about to die! Thessinus, Witch of Reincarnation, make a deal with me. Please, release her from these flames. No, oh, oh, whoops. Thessinus, Witch of Reincarnation, make a deal with me. Please, release her from these flames. Save her! And... What might you give me in exchange? My tail and her wings! Exclamation mark. That is not enough to keep death at bay. You're bond as well. The feelings you have for one another, the beautiful memories you share, that is my asking price. When next you should awaken, you will no longer be mermaid and siren. You will not recall one another. So too shall you live separate lives. Dot dot dot. Whatever the price, we will always find our way back to each other. Of that, I have no doubt. Very well. Hey, uh, Flamesh, will you still be my friend, even if I'm not a siren? Huh? El, what are you? You were so sure of yourself earlier, yet you're still worried about that? Sorry, I... Yes, I guess so. Silly, right? <laughs> are you daft? Wings or no, you'll always be my precious friend! Okay, so did their bond just get sold? Did it get Mephistoed? And thus ends our tale of Siren and Mermaid. Why, you ask? Why, you ask? 
Because from that moment on, they each possessed two arms and legs. And so we draw to a close, for what followed after is not my story to tell. We are... We are but tiny fragments in the memory of Mana. But through legend, our stories shall always live on. Hey, normal kid! Echoes, echoes, echoes of Mana, 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 that's right! I'll come, haven't seen you in a while. What comes before, and what lies ahead, why, even I cannot say. However, word has reached me of a famous songstress in the city. School, yeah, no, I don't blame you. Don't stay up to catch my streams, my late night streams, when you've got school to worry about. They say her beautiful voice fills the plaza and garners coins and applause from all who pass by. Once all have returned home, a lone girl stands in the square. Each day she visits, looking hesitantly here and there, as though searching for someone. If you were to pluck the flower at your feet and bring it to her, perhaps it would grant her courage, the courage to approach the songstress with it. Yuri Goggles? Activate! Ah, what do I speak of, you ask? Why? Merely a fragment of memory, capturing a glimpse of the world. Bone and Brimstone. The end. You know, I... I gotta say, I quite enjoyed this one. I think it was a uh, better, uh, I do agree with JP. Part two is better than part one. <laughs> Dearest friend, you got the first clear reward. Yay. All right, let's hop on over to the boss battle. Should be easy. Well, let's see how it actually ends up going for us. D. Normal kid says. Stretch. Oh, that was good. Posture check and hydrate. Jeez. <laughs> you know what? This guy is easy enough. I'll leave him on full auto. They can auto him. There we go. Posture checked. Hydrated successfully. And stretched. Complete all. There we go. Every request redeemed. Alright. And just in time for the boss to get auto-killed. <laughs> Alright, next. Next we should have a uh, hard mode. Which we may as well co-op, assuming anybody's around. Done, yay. Yep. Let's join room. Anybody playing it? Nobody's playing it. Let's create a room and hang out and wait for somebody to join. Oh. Yeah, aside from uh, <laughs> not, not having your schedule work out with my streams. How have you been doing, normal kid? You got a new game. Oh, do share. What is that? Rather, what game is that? <sighs> Will anybody join? Do -de -de -do -de -do -de 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 Nobody seems to wish to join. That's unfortunate. 
It's a free mobile game called Grow Castle. Huh, never heard of it. Alright, well, if nobody's gonna join, I guess I'll just uh, play the game on solo. Not gonna lie, you got addicted to it. <laughs> tisk tisk, that's no good. Don't get addicted. But I know what you mean. I can get addicted to merge games real easily. But you've been okay. Okay, at least that's good. And I'll just solo battle this. Yeah, anyway, I was cool treating you. You, uh... Uh, not having to deal with lockdowns anymore? <laughs> it's not a merge game. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying it is a merge game. I'm just saying that I'm the kind of person that does get addicted to merge games. There we go, let's cast some, uh, Egg Spirit. Lockdowns. <laughs> Alright, let's get in here. You mean fire alarms being pulled? <laughs> oh, did somebody do that? In that case, no. <laughs> no, you know, I was talking with someone, or listening to someone on YouTube, I guess, technically. It's not talking to him. And, you know, he's talking about how his kids... You had ten fire drills. <laughs> oh, man. Do 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 dee dee. Bumper do 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 do. Right? So what is are those actual fire drills or just pranksters pulling fire alarms? There were 12 fire alarms pulled last year. <laughs> Once was because of an actual fire. Woo! <laughs> uh, how many of the uh, perpetrators got caught? Okay, we went through that. Cool. Now let's see if you can join. Nobody? Nobody. Okay, let's create and hope somebody joins. Yeah, I don't know if anybody actually pulled a fire alarm. Uh, when I was in school. I know, uh... Okay, there we go. We got the entire team. Eight out of the eleven. Wow. <laughs> Three scheduled and eight fire alarm pulls. That's bad. Alright, come on, Rated R. Get ready, thank you. That's a lot of skulls falling down and of strange appearance effect. Oh, screw you. Alright, and let's get that cast. And how about we step out of the way? Good. Not who I wanted to switch to. I forgot that, uh... I'm not running my solo team right now. Anyway. Reese, you get up here. There we are, and let's just start spamming. Good, 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 good. Oops. Alright, one 
more, and that gets us in here. And another Mega Spirit Magic. Oh yeah, this is going very well. And we should have the kill right here. Yes, we do! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that shows how easy the boss is if you've got a good team. Woo! That's a nice little victory, although it takes a while for the uh, game to realize we actually killed the boss. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh... All right, there's that, cool. <laughs> Let's hit next. Continue on and shoot. But Grove Castle is basically a tower defense game. If you have to defend your castle, you can get a leader, which gives a buff to certain things. Tower, which deals damage or applies debuffs. Or you can upgrade your town archers, which deals damage during when enemies get in range. Okay. So yeah, it sounds like a pretty typical tower defense game. Yeah, I'm not just gonna go. Unfortunately, no story. Yeah, that's annoying. Come on. Someone join us, please. Yeah, a lack of story can be annoying. Good story can always, uh, always makes a good game better. Okay. Sleeves. I know it's probably slies, but I'm gonna call it sleeves because this used to be the sleeves stream when we were doing uh, a day to live spirit pledge. But here's the trick: you can just have the heroes alone to defeat them. You need to upgrade the heroes, and in some cases, use their skills at the perfect moment. Okay, so you can turn it into not a tower defense game. <laughs> you can turn it into a hero defense game. There we go. I'm just going to get in here to uh, burn one of those. There we go. Someone finally uh, cast the uh, Light Mega Spirit Magic. Good. And that leaves me free to go ham with Reese. You know, that was kind of pointless. Hey, JP, welcome back. Sort of sounds like Arknights. That'd be the anime waifu version, probably. But Arknights has a story. Okay. <laughs> Always love that little uh, finishing jingle. Hey, and I was a nobody. I got no rewards. Okay. Let's see. I need to uh, get one AP. Boom. Good. Sleaze, slies, get yourself ready. Actually, I probably should uh, change my team as well. Angela, you're getting replaced with 
I didn't stick with Arknights because it seemed like the solutions per level were strict or limited. Lovely. Right. Come on, game. Don't take forever. Uh, Sumo, there you are. Good. Come on, game. Why do you take so frickin' long? Ah. Uh. Really, the loading screens is the actual worst part of this game. Like, if they could just optimize it to be able to go through faster. Basically, if they could optimize everything, that would be nice. <laughs> Alright, boss battle! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Hit the light weakness. And now focus on the wind weakness. And oh yeah, we are going to town on this mofo. It's always a tower defense game, but you need to be smart about how you use your abilities. And if you're confident in your team, they will solo without using abilities. Then it's grinding until you run into trouble, which is every five waves, because there's a boss every five waves. Okay. Go, cool, cool. I've never really been all that into tower defense games, so probably not my cup of tea, but hey, if you're enjoying it, that's great. All right, next, and that is that that was three of these so phrase thanks uh let's go grab some mission rewards because we probably have a uh, good chunk of them done ah uh, three dailies there we go just need to do floor and fugue dailies, weekly, weekly co-op quests. Hey! That's all the weekly co-op quests done. Very good, very good. Bingo! Vent. Alright. We need to, uh... Co-op, uh... Hard three times. Unfortunate. Uh, we'll get that done. We'll get that done soon enough. Uh, for now, let's go back to quests. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. Event. Bone and Brimstone. And let's just take a quick peek and see how bad night... Oh. 12,000 recommended power. Join room. No room to join. Create room. Why not? Let's risk it. We'll see how badly this goes. Uh, <laughs> Reese is the only one with sufficient power level. Stab, I played the game for a total of 3 hours and 25 minutes and my castle is level 60. Well, I have no idea what the level cap is, so I don't know whether uh, level 60 is high or low. The cap could be uh, several hundred, several thousand, several million. There is none. Okay, <laughs> well that tells you everything. Uh, nobody's gonna join? I don't think anyone's crazy enough to play Nightmare. But that's alright. I think that is it for, uh, for this. And honestly, uh, this means we probably don't need... But it's hard to get the money for it. Yeah. That's how those games always work. They they want to get real money out of you somehow. But, yeah. I think... Oh, no. That's where we haven't gone yet. EP Trader. Alright. A bunch of nitwits. Nitwits. Experience. Serums. Cool. 
Obviously, we gotta get, grab the nitwits first. One, two, and three. Very good. And high level. We can grab one from here. Perfect. Very nice. That's what I want to see. That gets us some more that we can upgrade. It's a free-to-play game. Upgrading castle requires in-game money. Oh, of course. But I'm sure there's a place that you can buy in-game currency with real money, right? It's not a, it's not a purely free-to-play game. Okay, back. And will this take me? Yeah, that takes me back here. Okay. Shop. And let's take a peek at what else we have. Uh, Gauntlet of Echoes. Still not good. I'm hoping I'll be able... I'll grind it out to plus three. You know, just need to get 4,300, but I don't like the... I don't like that stage. <laughs> it's not fun. The boss rush just doesn't do it for me. But let's go to Flora and Fugue. Yeah, it's easy to get money, but time consuming while the fact of when you upgrade it increases prices. Oh yeah, that's how it always works. The more you upgrade, the more the prices increase. That's just a fact of life that you can't get away from. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Am I done? I am done. I have just bought out uh, Florin Fugue regular shop. Although I definitely haven't bought out the uh, high. Yeah. Right here, just in strength. We can't even buy all of it. Trade successful. Still four of them left. But, you know, a little something there. Upgrading cost 42k. You know, you're throwing out numbers, but the numbers... Don't make any sense for me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who do we want to go to? Let's go to Crimson Wizard. I mean, I, I mean, you said it costs forty-two k, but I have no idea in the constant in the context of the game. Is that a lot? Is that a little? How easy is it to get that money? You know, like, I've got 10 million coins in this game, so 42k wouldn't be that much for me. But I don't know how it is in that game. Okay, well, that's that. Let's go, uh, I believe it was Dark Charlotte. Select none, Dark. Yep, there she is. She's the next one that's getting a bunch of our uh, serums. Just one. Hey, we'll get that maxed out. Constitution, get a little something. Intellect, get a little something. Spirit, get a little something. No, it's nothing huge, but it's something. Stat upgrades achieved. Like in a game I'm playing the first hour, it takes a while to earn 1 million coins, but after 3 days, it takes a few minutes to earn 1 trillion coins. It's all about scale. Exactly, yep. Takes one way for me, but increases the price uh, by a pod if... I'm assuming by a lot, if you level up again. Okay, well... Is that it? That is it. Let's head home. And yeah, that is it. I was planning on only streaming uh, 40 to 60 minutes, but here it is 90 minutes later where I'm finally wrapping things up. I did get the event done and I did get uh, all of the training missions done. So I actually probably won't be... My friend's castle's level 150. Okay. Yeah. But since I got all this done now, I probably won't be streaming tonight then. Which is just fine and dandy for me, based off of the circumstances. Okay, well, thank you all very much. Alrighty then, see you later. Costs 10.5 million to level it up again. Oh, that's a lot. Alright, JP, normal kid, 
thanks for hanging out uh and for everybody else watching the vod please like follow subscribe check me out on twitch youtube rumble odyssey check the link in the description for referrals and we are done see you next time